Hi, I'm Laura Marshall. And I'm Melinda Rose, and this is Light Matters for July 6, 2011. In this week's show, we previewed the July issue of Photonic Spectra, Pigeons Could Give Robots a Bird's Eye View, 2.6 beefs up its Photonics portfolio, and Laser Tweezers help tie tiny knots. In this month's Photonic Spectra cover story, regular contributor Marie Freebody looks at beam profiling and how to ensure accuracy, safety, and cost-effectiveness in laser-based optical applications through systems that provide the right beam every time. In another article, contributor Hank Hogan discusses high-content imaging, specifically advances in photonics, algorithms, probes, and automation that have resulted in massive amounts of 2D imaging data, and 3D imaging is on the way, he says. And Ryan Thompson of Deposition Sciences, Inc. has written about optical filters for food inspection. Thanks to multispectral machine vision technologies, both the quality and aesthetics of food can be analyzed online at full production speeds. Also, senior editor Melinda Rose herself has written an article for this issue on fiber and disc lasers. Can you tell us about that one, Melinda? Well, the name of the article is Fiber versus Disc, and um, you know there definitely is a healthy competition going on there. But what I found from talking to people in the industry is, uh, in the industrial manufacturing space at least, there is definitely a place for both types of lasers, and uh, even CO2 and some other lasers also have uh, applications. So um, I hope people find the article interesting. I know I found it interesting to uh, do the research. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone will. Well, it's not lasers, but pigeons with frickin' cameras attached to their heads can inform navigation technology design. Harvard University scientists train pigeons to fly through an artificial forest with tiny cameras attached to their heads, literally giving a bird's eye view and reconstructing both what the bird sees and how it moves. This information may lead to new developments in robotics and autopilots, with the goal of simply providing a robot or unmanned aircraft with the destination coordinates only, no information about obstacles. With greater than 300 degree panoramic vision, pigeons are well suited to this task because it allows them to assess obstacles on either side. They can also stabilize their vision and switch rapidly between views using a small rapid movement of the head. Another important skill the birds have is to their tendency to choose the straightest routes. The researchers also found that pigeons seem to exit the forest heading in exactly the same direction as when they entered, in spite of all the twists and turns they make along the way. The work was presented at the Society for Experimental Biology annual conference in Glasgow on July 1st. Pennsylvania-based 2.6, a maker of engineered materials and optoelectronic components, has acquired Aegis Lightwave for about $52 million in cash. Privately held Aegis was founded in 2000 and is headquartered in Woburn, Massachusetts. The company makes tunable optical devices for high-speed optical networks. The purchase also includes Aegis subsidiary AOFR, a maker of fused fiber components, including those needed for fiber lasers used in material processing applications. AOFR also manufactures optical couplers used primarily in telecom markets. 2.6 said Aegis will strengthen its telecom product portfolio. The company will partner with its Photop Technologies operations to meet growing needs for advanced products for deployment of 40G and 100G in flexible and reconfigurable optical networks. Aegis and AOFR will operate as part of 2.6's near-infrared optics segment. From sailors to weavers, humans have tied knots for centuries. Now researchers have figured out a way to tie much tinier knots using the defect lines found in molecules dispersed in a liquid crystal. In the new experiment, scientists saw that topological defect lines form when the normal order of molecules in a liquid crystal is disrupted. These lines normally become tangled and form knots sporadically, but they discovered that knots from defect lines can be created by forcing liquid crystal molecules into a certain position. This action causes defect lines to form around each particle like rope encircling a ball. Using laser tweezers, they tied the lines into complex knots. Here's lead researcher Igor Musevich on the discovery's applications. Knots would be used to, to bind and secure small optical elements, which we are also able to produce. So basically, uh, we, we are going back 2,000 years ago, where knots and uh, links were used to secure, like, I don't know, wood, wood and so on. So we want to use these knots and links uh, to secure tiny micro elements optical microelements that we are able to produce. So this is basically the, uh, the idea and the driving force that uh, was uh, leading us in, into this direction. 
The research appears in the July 1st issue of Science. Well, that's it for this edition of Light Matters. For more on any of these stories, visit photonics.com. We hope you'll share Light Matters and you'll find the icons to do so at the bottom of this player. We'd like to hear from you. Please send your questions or comments to lightmatters at photonics.com. You can also follow Photonics Media on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and remember, if it's light, it matters. Thank you.